Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 423. My name is Ajay and I'm going to today talk about a very two basic Excel questions which I received uh, from one of my subscribers and they are going to be on the cell referencing how to use the dollar sign and the if function. This is a very very basic thing. This is a thing which I teach in my first, you know, the uh, when I take my online classes, this is something which everybody has to know it. If you if you are somebody who really knows Excel very well, this video is not for you at all. But maybe, I mean, if you want to stick to the video, just out of the curiosity or maybe, you know, if you're somebody who really loves to watch every video of mine, or maybe because of the Excel, then please stick to it. So this is my channel name. And if you're watching the video, this is the first time you are on this channel. Welcome to the channel. And I want to tell you that we have got 423 videos on Excel, Excel uh, VBA, MS Access and Access VBA, right? So the videos are, uh, you know, uh, divided into all the categories like basic, intermediate and advanced. You need to go and check out all these different, different playlists on the Access, Access VBA and Excel and Excel VBA. There are 45 different playlists which are created and under each you know the playlist created you will find different number of videos which would be again a mixture of basic intermediate and advanced right now i want to show you one more thing you can pause the video and you can see this these are the all the playlists which you need to go and watch if you want to start learn excel vba and if you want to learn excel if you want to learn access front end access vba these are the playlist sequence which you can start you know uh, watching a lot of you have requested me so i just thought that why not to create this and show it in my you know the upcoming video so pause the video and you can have a look on all these playlists guys now i want to read out the question let's go to the question so this i question i got it from jatin saxena hi ajay sir hope you are doing well i have seen your videos on youtube they are so they are so awesome and help me out to learn excel so easily the way you teach us was very amazing thank you so much jatin Welcome to the channel and I'm sh I, I know that I'm very late uh, uh, you I think uh, sent out this email on 10th of June and uh, 10th of June so I mean it's more than like I think a week uh, but you know I was busy and I also my uh, the laptop's mic you know it wasn't working it got damaged so I just replaced it I got it replaced so I'm late in responding but still I'll try to answer your questions. I learned a lot from your videos I had some problem in solving two questions sir can you help me out there. Excel is attached here for your reference and actually sir I have I have an interview on Monday so is it possible for you to revert me back before Monday please share this well you you, sh you should have called me actually right but I'm so sorry I, I don't know so how your actually interview went let me know about it and just in case if you're looking for the training you can still talk to me now guys uh, so he uh, Jatin actually forwarded these two questions for me now Jatin one thing I really you know wonder that um, now this both the questions are very basic okay so if you if you have appeared for your this interview if you already had appeared for it um, I think if you were expecting your interviewer to give you these kind of a questions then I don't think so chances are very less because they are very very basic questions well you might be I mean I don't know for which position you are applying but uh, generally when you go for the Excel you know people actually like to give you a not sort of these questions right it may be there i'm not say, i'm not sure that i mean it can be a part of your that interview uh, questionnaire but you would find you know little tricky questions than this right if you if you get if you get to know these kind of if you get to see these questions in your interview i i can say that you are very lucky right because they are very uh, very basic questions right now the first question is you say that suggest the formula from which when someone uses the drop down and select such as june then in the below mentioned yellow highlighted cells from jan to june the printed value is actual and for the rest of the month the value should be forecast so now what he is actually saying is guys as you can see here here we have written all the formulas jan feb march april may june july and you know december and this is the header where we have actual actual and forecast and this is a drop down which is created from this drop down I can choose any of the months right now the question is if I choose this March then for this March it remains here actual and rest of all the months should should uh, show as forecast that's what we need to do and if you if you again go and do some changes again you will you would find there you know a different uh, basically 
you know the if I select here let's say a Jan month then Jan should show me the actual and rest of the month should show me as forecast right so I'm going to do this here right over here so what you can do is you can simply use the if condition and you can say that if this cell is going to be equals to this cell then we need the actual otherwise if it is not the case if they are not equal then you can simply you know write here forecast simple and that's it right now before you drag this function make sure f12 should not be freezed at all because we want to move this left to right and when we move the function left to right your f12 should change to g12 h12 that's a golden rule of excel right when you drag it left to right excel doesn't uh, Excel changes the column number. What about the B5? Now the B5 should be compared with every value, whether you are on the F12 or in the G12 or on the H12, I12, uh, J12, K12, any 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 cell, right? So you're going to freeze this. So I'm completely going to freeze this. Um, I'm going to in fact freeze only uh, the B part of this. Okay, that's all. Because five, you need not to freeze it because the moment you drag left to right, row never changes. So five is not going to change. So that's it this is done when you drag this you see that you get the value here as forecast 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 and this is the actual if you do any changes here if I do any changes in the June you can see that now the June says actual if I change this to December you can see that it says you know this for the December you have the actual as simple as that right so I hope you understood this. This is this is the formula. Let me remove the formula from here. You can see that this is the formula. Basically, I used it. So it was all about the if function, and in fact, even more than the if function, just about the because if is again a very basic if we have used, and but you should know that how to freeze, which part particularly to freeze, right? Now let's go to the question number two. Now in the question number two, we have the currency here in the Indian rupees, and we, then we have the US dollar, Kuwait, Hong Kong, Greece, and Europe. We have written here. And you have, you know, as you guys, you can see here, so there are some formulas written here. The formula is, uh, it's actually dividing this 50, 50 by G5. And the same formula, if you see, it's dividing now this currency, Indian currency, with this Greece currency. So what he says, suggest the formula that when we divide the currency by INR, we get the value. But the condition is that we have to apply the formula in only single cell, which means single cell here. And when we copy it in other cells, the result should be the same. Hope you understand, sir, what I actually want. On yellow highlighted cell, example is here. Now, I think, uh, Jatin, you might be, I think, taking a training from somewhere. Uh, but I would say that, uh, so, I mean, it's good that, you know, they have given you these kind of a questions. But always remember, Excel is not about all this. Excel is really, really very powerful. Now, what you are talking about is, it's a very basic thing, which everybody should know that, right? But don't think that Excel is limited to this sort of things, right? You will find a lot of, lot of different, very tricky questions. And in fact, guys, if you if you really need the good questions on Excel, I'm not saying these questions are not good. Trust me, because I'm uploading a video. Naturally, it means that I really know that I'm saying that this question actually is a good question. But I want to tell you one more thing. Be practical, right? There are going to be a lot of lot of tougher questions than that, right? So what you need to do is if you want to be actually an expert, you can go and find out the playlist here. Excel VBA access interview questions. 43 videos are there, guys. It is again going to be, uh, you know, these all 43 videos are a mix of Excel interviews, access interviews, access VBA interviews, and of course, Excel VBA interviews. So go and pick up the, you know, whatever you want to pick up it's your choice right so you will find there the videos also on the excel and the same video which i'm recording right now this is also we are going to upload there now this what we want to do is so if i look at the formula basically you're dividing indian currency with these currencies right so what you need to do is you come here here in this and use the same formula this divided by this okay as simple as that and in fact I had uh, uploaded a video also if you don't know how to use the dollar signs which I always teach in my first session then guys as I said go in this Excel demo videos when you click on the Excel demo videos there are some of my online videos uh, which I take you know and uh, there are some samples uh, of those videos there 30 35 minutes 45 minutes of video you will find there under this playlist uh, Excel uh, cell referencing part one excel cell referencing part two 
I think that's going to be around 20 to 25 minutes of our video. You can watch that. I explained there how to use the dollar sign, right? So here now what we are going to do is I divide D8 by E5. Now it's very simple. When you move this left to right, you want to make sure that 50 should be divided with you know this 91. So 50 should remain as it is. But these values 68.71, this, this, they keep on changing. At the same time, when you drag it down, you want to ensure that this 15 then should change to 100. But at the same time, 68.71 should remain same, you know, because this has to be divided with this. And then this has to be divided with this. And then this has to be divided, you know, with this. At the same time, moving left to right, this has to be divided by this. This has to be divided by this. This has to be divided by this. I'm talking about this particular row, right? When you come here, then obviously this has to be divided by this for this particular, you know, cell, which is in the green. So what we are going to do is we are simply, um, so I go here and what I'm going to do is this D8, when I move it down, I want to ensure the row should change and the column should not change left to right. So I'm going to put the dollar here. So when I move this left to right, the dollar D should not change at all. It should remain the dollar D for all the cells, right? And at the same time, guys, E5, what about the E5? So E5 should change to F5 and then G5 and then H5 left to right. But down the line, E5 should not change at all. So we're going to freeze the row like this. This is the formula, guys. Press enter and now we are going to drag this. This is how it looks like, right? Well, this is exactly what I actually, you know, give uh, the kind of the assignments I give to my students as well when they take their first session, right? So it's a good thing. We got this another question. And uh, so now you can see here, if you look at the F2, what happens? This is divided by this, perfect. What happens here? This is divided by this, perfect. What happens here? This is divided by this. What happens here? This is 50 divided by, you know, so you see that all the cells are perfect. And this is the power of cell referencing. This is the power of, you know, these dollar signs that you don't have to work on the cells, you know, one by one. You can make the formula in the cell and that's it. You need to drag this in all the directions. It's not only about this particular exercise. Otherwise, also, if you go and check my videos on the VLOOKUP match or pick up any function, guys, you see that there we always use the dollar signs. Dollar signs are meant for that so that you can make your formula pretty dynamic, pretty powerful. So thank you so much, my dear subscriber. And uh, I'm so sorry I got late in responding. And um, so have a fantastic learning. I have shared all the playlist with you. If you want to you know, join my any personal training program, you can go and visit my website, excelvbalover.com, which is this website, excelvba. And you can contact me from there, right? So that's it for now, guys. And please do support me. Do subscribe to this channel. And we're going to come back with some another exciting very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.